Now we've heard about the HS2 problems, but transport troubles aren't limited to the English railways, as our team in Edinburgh has been finding out. Back to Jackie. Viewers in Edinburgh asked us to report on frustrations over transport projects. The tram network, for example, is over two years late and well over budget. And there are now questions, too, about another big project, the Fourth Road Bridge, as Kieran Jenkins reports. Ask any local, they'll tell you the biggest joke at the Edinburgh Festival are the trams, or rather, the lack of them. When you go, mind the road, we're digging up the tarmac. Streets are blocked, shops are shut, but go and see the pandas. Where's the trams? What's the plans? Are you looking for the answers? Go and see, go and see, go and see the pandas. The project is over budget and two years behind schedule. It just, it's a nice or well, even just Stuart Orr used to run a bustling bar. Over the years, though, he's seen more and more concrete, fewer and fewer customers. What's it doing for your business? Oh, it's absolutely killing us, well, as you can see. It's totally caged in. Um, the beautiful skip right outside my door, you know, that helps business. But we're losing three, four thousand pounds a week. It's been an absolute nightmare. Much like Edinburgh's streets, the original plans for the trams have been torn up. I think these type of issues with large construction projects always happen. that have been dealt with by the contractors in the normal course of events. There's been no impact whatsoever on the revised schedule or the revised budget. But it's not just the trams. Yeah. How does the bridge make you feel, this new bridge? What, what, well, what it's you... not necessary. So it's just unnecessary. It's another waste of money. A big bridge building project is also providing fodder for Edinburgh's eager satirists. Well, I'm not being funny, but they shall love to waste our money when they build another bridge for us to cross. Now, this is the old fourth bridge, and over here, work's already started on the new one. Now, that's going to cost £1.4 billion, a lot of money for something not everyone's convinced is even necessary. The cables in the old bridge were corroding, so a new bridge was commissioned. Problem is, the old one isn't faulty anymore. And we're pleased to say that it looks as if it's slowing down the rate of corrosion in the cables. So you fixed it? We did. And when they build a new bridge, you'll have two bridges in decent working order? Uh, yes, there will be two bridges and both will, uh, will be uh, there for, for use in the future. The Scottish Government says it's all going to plan. How would you rate your performance on delivering this project so far? We've been making very good progress. Um, we've got till 2016 to uh, deliver uh, a completed bridge. What do you say to the people who are tweeting us and contacting us who would disagree with that and say it's not a good performance? It is a good performance and this bridge is absolutely vital to supporting economic recovery in Scotland and for job creation. Which is all good news for Scotland's construction workers. Everyone else is simply wondering when it all will end.